Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. It's time for more Victoria 3 and your latest Kelvin. And as usual, we're on the eve of revolution. Multiple revolutions, actually. So, screw the military revolution. As much as I hate to say that. Uh, queue up mutual funds. I'm getting tired of our uh, rural folk. And I could use a little bit more communism. So we're going to commercialize agriculture. All right, steel frame buildings will be a pretty massive accelerator for our economy. 350,000 peasants, yep. Yeah. Mm. Why do you not hire more? Means. Ah, steel frame buildings, good. So I'll start in Tabriz. Upgrade to steel frame. In addition, uh, I want to go to urban. Go to urban center. And go to electric streetlights. There we go. Alright. That will, I think, in most of our markets, bring down the price of services pretty dramatically. Anywhere that can actually... Uh, have employment here. Yeah, might also be worth it to go to covered markets. There we go. Mm -hmm. Let us have services everywhere. Wow, that was a dramatic hit. Uh, was that because national revenue decreased? No, it's because expenses increase. And yeah, okay, good. Just wanted to make sure. But yeah, that means much cheaper services and thus hopefully a slightly higher standard of living. We're working on it. Mm -hmm. yeah, suddenly glass is super expensive. Yep. <laughs> that kind of was expected. Now the real problem in general is going to be getting enough porcelain exported. Which I think in general I'm going to have to accept I can't do. So, there. And by accepting that... Shit, well... I didn't mean to delete all of them. Oh well. It pretty dramatically helps. With, uh buy-sell ratios. Mm -hmm. They have demands. They can be dignified in handcuffs. <coughs> yeah, we're cracking down on landowners. In general, I just need to crack down on my petite bourgeois and my uh, rural folk at this point. Really, just the rural folk. So that's why I kind of want to get rid of homesteading, finally. It gives them too much power. We must break the farmers. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we're already up to 360 construction, which is great. Here we're at twenty percent. Fair enough. Good. Good. Yeah, I don't want to overdo it because crashing the price of iron too much could be a problem. So in general, we try and get more steel mills going. Keep Mr. Western Afghanistan. All right. Well, let's get rid of you. army in the region ready to revolt. Alright. But yeah, we're gonna need a whole another set of armies here. 
because I do need to increase my military funding. Like I said, we're going to go to war with Russia before too long. Wow. Yeah, 345 battalions. And the worst part is I think they've finally started a bit of their own modernization. Only a little bit. So, I actually might be alright to go to war with them now. You know? Yeah. So, it's time to start spending on the military, too. Like, I only have 25% of my own construction available, so... Alright. Forge more steel. Okay, we have an incredible amount of ongoing building. We don't really have the population for it, which ends up being the tricky part. So, I don't know how much larger our economy can truly get. We're going to need more people. And among other things, we're going to need recognition from the Russians. See that the capitalists are kind of dealing with everything. Cotton plantations, really? Uh, we definitely should not be doing cotton plantations. Come on. Opium, opium. It's nowhere else I can fill opium at. I'm pretty sure I have nowhere to sell porcelain. Nope. Nope. Paper's starting to look good. But with one I generally don't want to sell. <laughs> yeah, how's uh, the grocery factory doing now, by the way? I believe we should have vacuum canning. No, we still don't. Damn. Yeah, that's the problem. I don't really have much use for oil right now, so it's really just a giant export, which isn't too bad, but... A slowly declining number of radicals. Alright. I think I'm gonna have to admit that um, that's about all I can build right now. Alright. I'm getting dangerously close. To uh, totally collapsing the uh, the market if I do this, but that's all right. Sixty thousand. Yeah. Probably not. Hey, mutual funds. All right. Now on to military research. Uh. Presidential Republic. Private health insurance. No. Out of everybody, universal suffrage, really? I mean, more we'll protection of them. Good. Mm -hmm. it decreases in standard of living, yeah. like five more government admin, admin buildings here because I'm going to need a decent amount of uh, bureaucracy here. 
Let's also pay the military decently. And even, you know what, pay the bureaucrats, okay. That'll be good. That should help a little bit. Should also help our intelligentsia keep uh, their influence. Yeah, it's nice to see us having a legitimate government for once. I suppose as a general rule, we probably shouldn't produce liquor at all, because our boss doesn't need it. So, that'll help a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. nowhere near enough. I need, like, a lot more people in general, don't I? Jeez. Where are they all? I guess there's another group out here. But that's it, huh? Gosh. That's only gonna be good enough to get me, like, the next ins education institution. I didn't realize it was gonna be quite this bad. Overtaken the U.S. We now have a similar economy to Russia. Which is good to see. complex out there. Mm. Eastern, Western Afghanistan, and Sistan. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. This area honestly looks kind of miserable. I guess everyone just works in the port. Honestly, probably. Yeah, it doesn't look great, does it? Just isn't people. <laughs> I don't mind this. I'm just for them, that's good. I hope combined they of these number of the votes. Come on. Yeah, they got 40% last time, they got 28% last time, so it's basically dead even. 24%, 5%, yeah. So, it's not bad. We still have another election event. But it should keep our government legitimate, if nothing else. Upgrade to steel. Yeah, we still need another hundred, like one thousand one hundred glass. Another three hundred steel. What are we doing on that, by the way? Not great. Well, it looks like we might actually be able to handle it now. We apparently still have spare lead, so that's good. Well, half the problem now is this glassworks can't get anybody. Yeah. <sighs> mm -hmm. Alright. A little more balance now. 
actually looks like we can do it. On paper, anyway. It's only slightly damaging to the, in the grand scheme of things. And, like, not that big a deal. Yeah, like, we have enough for everything, even if it does hurt. And importantly, uh, the economy will quickly handle handle it. Like we can build so much more now. Alright. Can we continue on? Alright. What are we doing here? We need more universities. Oh nice. You can get a couple more of those. Come on, we gotta try and push through compulsory primary school. Then we can get max education. Alright. Overall, uh, our number of radical like, should be decreasing pretty heavily. And political movement demands? Oh, jeez. Yeah, it's res it's preserve restricted child labor. Um, Alright, we're okay. we get this up and I think our companies are probably profitable now or prosperous yeah so that's another 15% reduced there we'll get there yet all right hopefully last round yeah. construction expenses are impressive I'm not too worried, because in theory the costs should come down over time as we develop a larger steel industry to compensate. We have spare iron, so... And you can see most of the buildings being built right now are in fact steel mills. A trade agreement with the Russians. Very well. The German proletariat revolt. Germany keeps uh, edging its way towards communism. It's a tough day for Germany. But it'll get there yet. Mm. Yeah. Our economy is recovering slowly from the shock. Soon we will be ready to fight the Russians, if we aren't already. So we're going to wait these guys out for now. You're a pacifist? Well, that sucks. Reformer? Jingoist. I mean, you're the one I'd really want in charge, so... Do it. Having another general from that will hopefully legitimize our government a bit more. We're trying our best. Alright, 91%. Perfect. Time to commercialize agriculture, baby. last level of uh, education access here. Mm -hmm. What is our populations looking at sort of like education access now? Uh, no, um, where is... Oh, detailed lists, right. Laborers. Mm -hmm. So their education access is kind of 62 right now. Yeah. Alright, so they get half a percentage per wealth, and pretty much everyone should be at 10, so that's not too bad. Uh, or no, I guess they get 2% from wealth, each uh, wealth. Okay. So that's pretty good. That means that we should, on minimum, have about 7%. <laughs> 
Possession go around. Yeah. The revolutions are annoying. Honestly, I might pass protection. Although at this point, with commercialized agriculture, this should dramatically weaken the rural folk in general, so. Little top down men. That's not interesting. Uh, no. Vertical industrial integration. Oh. Push ahead. Yeah, if we crack, uh,. The power of our freaking rural pops, that'd be great. Because they are annoyingly powerful. <laughs> Put this around the courts. I'm fine with my trade unions becoming a little more powerful. I actually kind of need them, you know? And commercialized agriculture will strengthen them a lot, so because it's basically just going to siphon power directly from the rural folk to the trade union. Alright. Good. Glad to see our tech here progressing. The Anglo-Indian Capitalist Revolt. Brutal. Kind of need Russia ideally to be distracted somewhere. Just, just to make sure. I mean, I'll probably still be able to win, but we'll have to see. Yeah. Troops to stand down. Begin promoting. And yeah, you're building trap and artillery by default. Perfect. Alright. Mm -hmm. the living, yeah. We're trying our best here. And I mean, all things said and done, we're getting there pretty good. I mean, currently we're at minus 55% total, I think. We're going to try and hold off the revolution a little bit longer. Oh no. The trade route exporting oil isn't active. Glad to see that my, uh, like, balance is recovered. Oh, well, that's because I'm not actually expending everything building any longer. It looks like... They, uh, kind of ran out. Well, I mean, this is actually kind of a tragedy. It does mean that we are out of peasants to put into the fields or into the factories so like yeah yeah sure sure like go go make sure we're going to like the rotary valve engines here you know Gets me a hundred thousand unemployed. That's something. Let's see. If I go to here and then try and build a thing, it tells me how many job seekers there are. Mm -hmm. 
Turkmeni and Mazandaran are basically where all the unemployed are. Fair enough. Yeah, we are in need of coal, so let's get to it. Coal mines. The streets are empty. No matter, fine. All right. <clears throat> Be religious revolt. Alright, well. It's inactive, it's inactive. Alright, education investments level 5, good. Universities out here. Got a couple of universities here. Fuel for the problem we have. Now oh, we're almost through commercializing agriculture. <clears throat> that will. That'll do it, I think. Finish off the rural folk. trade unionists should come to power in their place. Care to living is increasing too, which is good. I almost wonder if at this point I should just bite the bullet and pass private health insurance, because like... Sure, it's not great, but it does reduce uh, mortality for wealth. You know, by a decent amount. Like, I can get this up to five. So, that'll be 1% mortality for a while. That'll hopefully help my, pro my population growth a little bit. Yeah, the constabulary must be better on. Base of those who oppose reform. Tolerate the peasant councils. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're on the edge of revolution, but we'll get there. sure we are making the most out of everything. Let's go. Like I'm on a limited budget here. case, steel passenger cars, with enough rail transit for everywhere. Because, like, I've got money, too. So, at this point, like, I should be looking into slashing taxes. Yeah. Which will also greatly legitimize my government. Oh. <sighs> enough. It's like I just don't have people. Alright, so with commercialized agriculture, they're all now publicly traded.
One third of all the profits will now go to the capitalists instead of the landowners. So that'll further weaken them as well. And let's be real here. Protectionism it will be. Professor Enterprise. Spectre haunting the world. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah, that'll that'll happen. I think we'll be okay, but standard living continues to climb pretty massively. The main problem right now is suddenly steel mills are not profitable. Of course, part of the problem is I don't really have anything to build either. Like, we've got 50,000 unemployed kind of casually scattered across the states. There just really isn't a whole lot for me to build. Which kind of sucks. But that's where I need to fix this. Isn't that right, Russia? I need more land to build on, don't I? I mean, we're modernizing, like, hellishly quickly. I don't really want to wait for trench warfare and all that. Fascist trench revolt, perfect. I think I can take the uh, gamble now and maybe attack Russia. God, that's... <sighs> well... Maybe. Maybe. Oh well. Thank you everyone for watching. I've been Nobleos Gilman. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, folks. Have a good night.